and there is the prudential authority to promote and enhance the safety and soundness of financial institutions that provide financial products and provide, protect financial customers against the risk that those financial institutions may fail to meet their obligations. During the last couple of years, the Prudential Authority has intensified its supervision of UBank due to, firstly, corporate governance concerns, secondly, a high number of internal control weaknesses, and thirdly, the prolonged period it has taken to ensure the injection of sufficient capital to comply with the minimum capital requirements, diversify the bank's business model, and ensure the future sustainability of the bank. After having duly considered the seriousness of the issues facing the bank, and given that UBank is unlikely to immediately meet its obligations as required by the Banks Act and the regulations relating to the banks, the Minister of Finance, in consultation with the Prudential Authority, has decided to place UBank under curatorship with immediate effect. This is being done to proactively mitigate the adverse consequences on UBank's depositors and to preserve the stability of the South African banking and financial services sector as a whole. Upon an appointment of a curator, the management of UBank vests in the curator, subject to the supervision of the Prudential Authority. Any other person vested with the management of the affairs of the bank shall be divested thereof. The curator is also required to recover and take possession of all the assets of UBank. Furthermore, the Prudential Authority is obliged to ensure that all payment clearing and settlement obligations of UBank will continue to be met. The curatorship provides the legal framework within which the necessary initiatives can take place to enable an orderly resolution. The Minister of Finance has appointed KPMG South Africa as the curator with Mr. Zola Besetti as the representative. KPMG South Africa will be responsible for UBank with immediate effect and with the full authority the law confers on the, on the curator. Mr. Zohana Besetti is a director of, at KPMG and is based in Johannesburg. He is a member of KPMG's policy board. Members of the media will be provided with his curriculum vitae as part of the press pack, and I would like to introduce him to you now. We would like to emphasize that UBank will continue to operate during the period of curatorship, and the curator will make decisions regarding the continued granting of loans and sound banking activities generally. Retail depositors represent 98% of UBank's total liabilities. It is important to emphasize that UBank will continue to be open for business. The bank remains highly liquid with a liquidity coverage ratio in excess of the regulatory requirement. The Prudential Authority is aware of interested parties that have been discussing and are continuing to discuss investing in UBank, and which investments, if concluded, will restore the issues, uh, will resolve the issues at UBank. The curator will take this process forward. As already indicated, UBank remains highly liquid. Depositors will have continued access to their money and other banking services offered by the bank in the ordinary course of business. The curator will keep depositors informed of any developments at the bank. The curatorship is a protection procedure which gives the prudential authority the legal means to create the necessary space to implement a resolution plan. Customers and staff are encouraged to continue supporting UBank. We take this opportunity to highlight the following two points. South Africa's banking sector remains healthy and robust, and that there has been no indication that other South African banks have been negatively affected by UBank's current situation. Recording the role in progress. Of the prudential authority is to make every effort to ensure that South Africa's banks have adequate capital, liquidity, and leverage ratios. The Prudential Authority is and will remain an active supervisor. However, 
This can never substitute for management's role and its responsibility to manage a bank. It also cannot replace a board's responsibility to ensure sound policies and practices in relation to corporate governance, effective risk management, and the strategic direction of a bank. Notwithstanding the challenges facing new bank, it plays an important role in supporting financial inclusion by saving mine workers and their families in remote rural areas. U-Bank has traditionally serviced the un unserved and the underserved market. The Prudential Authority therefore remains committed to supporting financial inclusion by fulfilling its mandate of protecting the hard earned funds of members of the public saved in the banks and by continuing to maintain the strength of the banking and financial system. This concludes our statement with respect to Eubank, and we will then take your questions. Uh, Zianna will moderate this. Please, the questions that we are taking are only in relation to Eubank and the curatorship that has been uh, announced. Any monetary policy questions, uh, you do not have to wait very long. Thursday, 3 o'clock, we will be ready for you. Thank you, Governor. We don't have questions yet. Please, can we give the media a couple of seconds? Sepo, please go ahead. Can't you hear Sepo? Can you hear me now? Good afternoon, Governor. Yes. 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 Uh, my first question is, um, do you feel that um, the measures that you've put in place are adequate enough to ensure that there's no run on the bank? Uh, because um, this um, actually triggers fear among uh, depositors sometimes where you'd find that um, sometimes they go and um, withdraw their money. Uh, and, and should they do that? Um, what what measures are going to be in place? And then secondly is on the management of, of, of Bank. What happens to management? Um, are they working with the curator? Um, um, is there, you know, uh, any accountability on their side for for allowing this situation to, to, to happen? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, firstly, as we are, as indicated, at the moment there is enough liquidity in uh, U-Bank to meet uh, depositor requests. So can you mute your microphone, please? There is enough liquidity in the bank to meet uh, the obligations in respect to the depositors. Uh, this is a very interesting situation. Production co-hosts, can you behave, please? This is a very strange situation because what we normally would be having when we face a bank get, uh, uh, facing a challenge is that we will find that the bank has got enough capital but has got a serious liquidity problem. Here we have got a situation where there is enough liquidity, uh, the deposit base is stable and there is uh, enough liquidity to meet the deposit uh, obligations in the short run. The problem here is that this is a bank that has eroded capital. The net asset value of this bank is just, uh, by estimate now, just around 208 million rand. Uh, in terms of the bank's act, they're supposed to have at the very minimum 250 uh, million of capital. But uh, for the business that they are in, the capital adequacy for them would have had to be closer to 20%, and it is now below 5%. It is actually closer uh, to 3%. And that is why we had to step in and reassure the depositors to say that uh, the institution is going into curatorship. That is the instrument we have to protect you as depositors. The bank is still open for business. The curator will step in, 
assess further to the extent that there is a shortfall in the capital. How far is this shortfall? We've already said that it has declined significantly to about 3% capital uh, adequacy. And uh, when the curator comes in, at uh, the board of the bank uh, starts aside and the curator will then work with the management of uh, U-Bank to make sure that the institution is stabilized and that the interests of the depositors are protected. Our duty as the regulators is to protect the interests of the depositors. And in this case, these depositors are mine workers and their families who rely on this institution uh, for their savings and for the transmitting uh, of payments. And that is what we have stepped in to protect. Thank you, Governor. The next question will come from Pranisha from Bloomberg. Pranisha, please unmute yourself. Uh, thank you very much. I've got a couple of questions, please. Um, how many clients does Ubank have and what are what is its exposure to mine workers? Um, can you also clarify whether this is now the third bank, including VBS and African Bank, that's currently under curatorship? Um, I've just done a quick Google search and a Russian bank called Ubank also pops up. Is there a link between the two? And finally from me, um, has this move been precipitated only by bad management? Uh, does a mounting cost of living crisis factor into this in any way? Thank you very much. Prinesha, uh, let start with your, your, your last one. This is a capital problem. Uh, the bank has run out of capital and capital is what depositors need to have their interests protected. So, this bank we have worked with for a period of about two years to get shareholders to inject capital. Their shareholders couldn't inject capital. If your shareholders cannot inject capital, you find other shareholders to inject capital. This has not been done. And it had come to the point where we had to step in and uh, protect the depositors. That is what uh, we have uh, taken. There is no relationship between you, Bank, and the Russian and Bank of Asia. Thank you, Governor. We've there is no question. relationship between a U Bank and a Russian bank called uh, U Bank. This bank used to be called Teba Bank, if you uh, uh, are old enough to uh, to remember. And um, it is a South African bank that had been operating, servicing the mining mine workers. Uh, does this thing result as a result of a rise in the cost of living? Absolutely not. It has got nothing to do with that. This is a bank which uh, over a period, a number of years, had had significant challenges uh, uh, it had had to change boards, it had had to change management at the moment, it had an acting CEO, and, um, and uh, we have felt that after working with them for all of this period, and when we have come to the point where capital adequacy has been eroded to the point where it is only 3%, that will give you a perspective that uh, the average capital adequacy in the South African banking sector is just over 15%. So this is completely out of line with what uh, we've seen. But besides, it is also below their regulatory, regulatory uh, capital. And as such, unless they had a capital injection from the shareholders, they could not continue in this manner. Hence, we decided to step in with a curatorship. Governor, if I could just clarify uh, one other question that was asked by Pranesha uh, in terms of the number of clients. Here we can only talk to the number of accounts because even with the number of clients, you can have multiple 
accounts that are in this bank. So they are over four, uh, four point seven million accounts uh, inside uh, this bank at at the moment. Uh, the second thing I, I would like to clarify has to do with capital. So when, the reason why capital is important for a bank is that in its nature, a bank will take risks in its business and these risks come with potential losses. So the capital is there to absorb these losses as, as a buffer. So hence the governor was clarifying that there's not a liquidity problem here uh, but the risk might come later should this bank be faced with substantial losses that the, if the full capital is eroded, there is no protection left for, for depositors. That is the role of capital in a bank. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Pranesha, your other question had to do with, you wanted to confirm if there are three banks under curatorship. Uh, the answer is no. Uh, VBS is not under curatorship. VBS is in liquidation. Uh, African Bank is not under curatorship. It has long exited uh, curatorship. It is very much a normal bank that is uh, operating out there with uh, adequate capital, with uh, adequate backing from its shareholders, with uh, lines committed by its shareholders. At the time when African Bank initially was put in curatorship, or the old African bank, because this is the new bank, the good bank, the, the old bank had deposits of just a hundred million. And today you are talking of African bank with a, uh, a, a deposit base of uh, just over 9.3 uh, billion rand. Uh, they are not in curatorship. So the, to, as it stands today, the only bank that would be under curatorship will be uh, Uben, there aren't two other banks in South Africa that are under curatorship. Thank you, Governor. We have two a couple of questions online. The one question is similar to what uh, Pranisha asked. It's from Dineo Faku at Sunday Times. She's asking how long the curatorship process will be. Um, you've answered the how many depositors are affected and if there are any similarities between what happened with Ubank and VBS. Thank you very much. Uh, let me uh, uh, deal with that one question. That is, did the governor say 30% of capital loan? It's 3% three percent, uh, three percent uh, capital that uh, we uh, we are actually faced with. How long does the curatorship uh, process uh, take? Well, it depends on how deep the hole, uh, uh, the hole is. The curator gets in, makes the assessment, and um, since in this, in, in this case there are um, um, investors who are interested in uh, um, uh, taking a stake or buying uh, at the bank, they will now have to go and talk to the uh, uh, talk to the curator, and the curator will then make those uh, calls and and then apply for the necessary approvals with the uh, prudential uh, authority. Thank you, Governor. Those are all the questions we have for now, and I don't see any hands from the media. Well. Uh, if there aren't any hands from the uh, media, then I guess uh, we can bring this to a close uh, unless the curator has got anything to say. Is there anything that maybe you thought in the questions maybe the curator uh, would want to have said something? No? Curator covered? Uh, Governor, I'm covered by your response to the question, particularly on the last one as to how long the curatorship it will take. So I don't have any further comments, Governor, to add. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Sianda. Thank you, Governor. I don't know if you can take a last question from Hilary Joffa, and we can close with that question. She's asking the size of the bank's balance sheet. Um. That would be an interesting one. I would say it's, uh, the uh, size of the, the balance sheet. This is a bank which has got uh, total assets as in February 
of 5.23 uh, uh, billion rand. And um, uh, that is what we have. And the uh, uh, capital adequacy ratio, as we had said, is just around uh, 3%, and that is where we have a problem. Thank you, Governor. Um, we've... All right, that's uh, the Reserve Bank uh, uh, Governor, uh, Lisa Jakanya, who uh, briefing the media there and uh, telling us, in, I suppose that is uh, the news that's just in at the moment, in that uh, the Finance Minister in Okorongwana has uh, decided to put uh, U-Bank under curatorship, all assets of uh, U-Bank to be seized, and uh, KPMG appointed as the curators, uh, saying that there's no liquidity problem there, but there is a risk, and this is for the protection of uh, the depositors and those indeed who have invested. So that's the story that's just out at the moment. We'll certainly delve into it in the next hour. For now, though, your weather update with Impo.